All right, guys, so welcome back to Mist. Now, before we get started today, I just wanted to have a chat with everyone and let you all know what's been going on because you may or may not be still in the dark of where the series has gone. So the basics of everything is the PC that I've been playing Mist on had a problem. It had a temperature issue where my CPU went pop and at the exact same time, so did a hard drive. So I needed to send the computer to get fixed and hopefully try and recover any of the backups that I had onto another hard drive. Long story short, because of everything that's happening in the world right now, things getting fixed and delivery times and such, everything's taking so much longer, which is understandable. So that's why the Miss series has been shelved for the time being. I never ever intended to stop playing it, and I haven't given up on the game. I've seen a few people thinking that I got sick of it, or the game was too hard. It couldn't be further from the truth, guys. I do want to let you all know as well that I did record two extra episodes of Mist, and my intention was to try and get those out to you guys so you'd at least have a continuation of the series, but they were lost in the very same hard drive that was broken. So the only differences that you really should see is from the last episode, at least, is the days. I don't know if we were on day number nine. We were somewhere around that, and some of the items may be different as well, but that should be it. I just wanted to give you guys an update and say thank you for being so patient with how long everything's taken. Obviously, I know a lot of you guys will understand. But I know a lot of you guys are still in the dark about what was going on. So here we go with some more mist. All right, let's take a look at what we got then. So how much did we burn off? So almost six liters. I've got two bottles in my inventory ready to go and all of this in reserve. I'm not sure if I've got a lot of food left. In fact, I think everything that we had is here. So I need to keep an eye out for food or look for a way that we can start growing stuff with. Drying rack, cooking pot, grill stand. All of this stuff we need to really get into at some point. Anything that's going to help us. Saw machine, repair bench, furnace, cabins, electrical, furniture, crops. Okay, there we go. So crops allows you to plant crops in a row. And I think I remember seeing this over at the furnace, which is something that we need to do today. So let's quickly take a look. Circuit board, bucket, matches, duct tape, and these are the weapons. I was just trying to make note of everything that I had in this room. So we need to get on with making the pickaxe. Because if you guys don't remember, I need to go down into the mines, collect as many resources as I possibly can in order to make ammunition with. Because I don't know if you all remember, when those guys came down off the hill, they came very close to where we're living. And if they do that again, I want to make sure we've got enough in reserve to be able to defend ourselves with. And not to mention, there's also a little hideout over there that I've been keeping my eye on. Every now and again when I'm driving past, I see one, two, maybe three of them. And I think I can take them. But I need the ammunition to do so. It looks like... Is that the mist rolling in? I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you just squint your eyes... There's a very faint white cloud forming in the very edge of the trees... What time is it? All right, it's midday. I think it's worth that we take a trip over to the furnace because I do need to smelt some stuff down and I can leave that over there even if the mist comes in. I don't want to get caught out in this stuff though. So I need to smelt down all the metal that I've got to make the low quality metal ingots and I needed wood. And I think I remember a place where I saw a saw as well that I can shave the wood down. And here we go. Okay, engine off. Let's not take any chances. Let's give it a quick scan, make sure we are alone. If I remember right, I think it was the anvil that we can make ourselves. There we go. Okay, pickaxe. So it only takes eight wood and eight low quality metal. So if we go over to this, throw that into there. There's four and then another eight. I should be crafting now. So we should have enough to actually make the pickaxe with. I do want to check though, because over there, there's another part to like the uh, the lumber, lumber yards. And I thought I saw a saw over there when I was doing a little bit of looking around. I want to know if we can use it, if it's still operational. I haven't really cleared this area out though, so I really want to take my time. Just turn the engine off. It's going super quiet. Don't have any ammunition for the pistol. I thought that was a new vehicle. It's just one of those big Urals or the big trucks. Got some logs. Okay, interact. Can we chop some stuff up? If I put... Oh, okay, so it actually makes this. 
All right, we've got everything we need then. So if I do have the logs, it's good to know that I can use this to make the planks with. All right, so that is really good to know. And I'm just going to leave that wood in there as well. I can actually move this onto the back of the truck. Let's do that because I don't want to keep having to come out here. I'm super exposed. And then at least I'll have it back at the uh, at the base. So let's rotate that round. Throw that on the top. Should be good to go. Okay, throw you in there as well. And that one, let's smelt another eight of them. That one's going to take 20 minutes or so. So we should have the low quality metal ingots that we need to actually craft this up. And we've already got the wood. What did we need for the sledgehammer? Oh yeah, that's right. We needed iron. So I needed to smelt down the iron from the mine. So that's what we got to do. So we're going to wait 20 minutes for that. I am going to get the pickaxe though and head straight down into the mine. Let's just grab a drink because we are getting pretty thirsty. Nice refreshing beverage. I'm going to try and hold off from using the water as much as possible. Getting a little bit fatigued too. We're doing all this running around. Let's have some of this. Top everything off. That's going to pretty much use the majority of the day. Now I could do nighttime runs. You guys know how dangerous that is with what's running around at night time. Also, the reason why I haven't really been showing you guys what's been going on at night time is because I've just been locking everything down and trying to get to sleep. Just taking cover and waiting for the night to pass. Nothing much really ever happens. And if it does, I definitely do show you guys. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a pickaxe. Now, I can head down into the mine and I can harvest everything that we need. Let me just take a quick look at this. Is there anything else that I can smell? You know what? I may as well just throw three stacks of these eight into there and just melt that down. We get anything else? I'm going to try and free up all the inventory I can in case I need extra space from being down in the mines. What's at the top of that hill? I don't remember investigating what was up there. Okay, let's see if we can give this thing a home then. So I'm just going to keep all the benches together and let's just put it like... There, that works. Okay, so I can saw things down now, get all the planks that I need with the wood that I'm chopping down. For the rest of the day, though, it's like 3 p.m. now. I really can't do much with this time. It's the awkward time. I mean, I could do a little bit more scavenging, try and get some extra scrap, maybe look around for some food, but I want to utilize as many hours in the day as I possibly can. So I think I'm just going to tidy up everything that I've got in the house, just take note of everything, take stock. And then tomorrow, we're going to head back down into the mine and then have hopefully enough iron to grab the sledgehammer with. Okay, so not only do we have the pickaxe, we now have the sledgehammer now. It wasn't as straightforward as I thought it was going to be. This furnace actually takes a lot more in resources to craft the ingots with. I thought it was a lot to make the iron ingots. I believe it was like a stack of four to make one ingot. I think it's a stack of six or eight to make one copper ingot. So copper is way more valuable, at least the most valuable thing to smelt that we've found so far. Let me just place everything in this one. No, that's the car parts. This one. All right. Stack that back into there. There's the iron. There's the copper. Okay, so we've got everything we need now. What do we need to actually make the reloading bench with? I think I was missing something. We got the copper. We've got the iron. We've got the wood. The gear. We're missing a gear. Okay, so with that being said then, I'm going to head back down into the mines because I still need all the rest of it, which should be the sulfur and the saltpeter. And I don't think I've actually come across any of that yet, unless I'm not crafted it the right way. But look, it says there, gunpowder. It takes sulfur and saltpeter along with charcoal. All right, so that's what we need to do. Now, I have been using that mine in that direction, which you guys have seen a million times, which is right next to some weird facility, but... I think I'm going to go and check out the other one. It is a bit of a dangerous journey, but I do want to see if the other mine holds any other resources which I can use. So I'll be back with you guys in a second. <laughs> Fuck, that made me jump. Oh, let's get through this. Holy shit, that caught me by surprise. All right. Did it actually tag the vehicle? Wheels look good. I think we got a narrow escape back there. Holy shit. I was just going to use that road to get back because it was smoother than that terrain over there. There we go. Okay, so I did manage to find a saw. It was just over there in one of those boxes. Is it going to be able to squeeze here? That'd be perfect. 
like there. All right, so start building. And it's going to take just inside of an hour. So once we've built this up, I'm assuming that it's going to tell us we need certain things in order to make like the gunpowder and stuff with. Oh, look at this. Some ammo boxes down there. It's got like a little system to throw bullets together with. Okay, so we've got ammunition and explosives. <laughs> okay, so we can level this up. Scrap, iron ingot, the gears, and whatever the hell that green box is. Can we not make a start? Okay, we got to make the cartridges. I don't even remember a way of seeing that. I mean, I'm sure there is a way. That, this is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm sure we have to go to the other mine because there really wasn't much in the mine that I was using. There was like three different types of materials and it looks like we need more. So we, I mean, we can at least make a start on the gunpowder, but everything else, we got to find a way to get that. I mean, at least we've got the workbenches coming along now. It's taking quite a long time, but it's a good investment of time because we're going to need them. Okay, so what time is it? So half past four. I think we're going to call it a day for now. And then tomorrow, we're going to head over to the new mine. Oh, shit. No, he saw me. I've got to get rid of him before they come looking for me. We clear? Need ammunition. These guys had so much food on them. All right, let's see what they got then. I didn't expect to go in loud. I wanted to be really stealthy with that, but they didn't give me the opportunity to, so. Okay, nothing inside of that one. Open, open. There's really nothing in there. I just broke that open for no reason. These guys have got to have something good. I mean, they've got food, which is going to go a long way, but I was really hoping they would have something more than that. Like weapons or something. Let's see if there's anyone at the top of this. Oh. Scott. We've got another survivor, and we've got some vest armor. Let's rescue him then. There we go. So at least we've got a little bit of armor on now. And something unexpected. I didn't actually think we'd find anyone at the top of this. That was friendly. Really hoping that I find something like ammunition. I was kind of hoping... Oh, I mean, my idea behind pushing these guys was... That they would have a sniper rifle. And that would come in so useful. Or some, at least some kind of hunting rifle or something. You'd imagine that's where they would be at the top of that watchtower, but... There's really not much that we can take from here. Let me just do one more scan. Make sure I'm not missing anything. This guy doesn't have anything on him. Sticks. There's a cooler there. Bin. I mean, I can break these down, but... Actually, let's just test what the sledgehammer can do. So, one... So, it's probably going to be the same as what the axe does to take down the trees but let's see what it actually gives us once we break it down okay that does give us a lot okay well i hope rescuing scott was worth it because that place really didn't hold much i mean we've got some seeds some gunpowder some broccoli and a couple of apples i mean i did pick up some grenade fragments and shotgun or broken shotguns off those guys but i mean all in all that really wasn't worth risking it i think what i'm gonna do though so it's not too much of a waste is continue to try and head to the mine and see if we can pick up anything inside of it. So, it's just dawned on me as well that we've just used all of our ammunition. I've got one round left. I'm really hoping that there's no infected down here. I try and make an effort to check every single time I come down. Doesn't look like there is. 
Okay, it seems clear and everything seems pretty quiet. Let's start breaking these open then. Are we going to get the same stuff? I did see that yellow brick over there, which I think is sulfur, which is one of the materials that we need. All right, so we got some zinc. And I'm hoping if, if this is iron, it won't be a total loss. Okay, I'm going to pick that up. I've got so much zinc that I really don't know what to do with it right now. So I'm not going to pick that up though. I'm just going to waste space. If this is sulfur, then all we really need to find is salt pizza and I can start crafting. Yeah, it is sulfur. I can start crafting gunpowder with those two mixtures. So where do I get salt pizza from then? We really haven't come across that yet. Oh my fuck! No! Oh. What the fuck is that? Holy shit, my heart just jumped out of my chest. I'm completely out of ammunition. I mean, I'm down to using the machete now, which is just insane. I'm kind of tempted, though, to run across to the other side because you see how this one becomes narrow? It does on that side, too. So if I can just make it past this space, I think I can get through there. And hopefully we'll find more resources. I'm going for it. I want to know what's there. Oh my god, that thing is massive. And it just threw something at us. Let's see if we can get a look at him. Oh my fuck. Okay, let's move back a little bit. Holy shit, that thing sounds like it's about to collapse the mine. Really got to be careful now as well because... This is all unexplored. We've got no lights down this way. Oh my god, that's so dark. Really hoping there's some nodes, just so we can get a little bit more before we head back. It goes even deeper than this. Can we not pick up one of those glow sticks? Series all boarded up. I mean, we gotta check. Seeing as though we're here, we've gotta check. Oh, I don't like this. Not one bit. Gotta try and remember which way we're coming from because if I need to get out, that's my only escape. If there's any infected down here, I am fucked. Holy shit. We've got a massive cave system. Okay, there's more light that goes down that way. I think I can get back up there. Let's double check. Okay, yeah, we can climb back up. The only thing that's worrying me right now is I only have this machete as defense. And if there's a lot of the infected... I'm going to have no chance. The deeper I go, the more I'm going to lose my... Which way I'm going to be going. It just keeps going. I mean, there's signs of life. There's there's glow sticks, so... Oh, we got a door down there. Wait, is this flooded? What you guys are seeing on the screen is exactly what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a couple of nodes down there, though. At least we can harvest those up. What's this? The weapon part. There's two rooms down there. Before we check this, I'm just going to double back and see if I can actually climb back up this way. Let me see. Climb that, and then... Okay, so we actually can get back up. I just needed to know that. Okay, I guess we're going to check it out. I won't lie to you guys, my heart is thumping. against my chest right now. Really hoping that somebody left some ammunition behind. Oh, 
maintenance room or something. What's this? Old fuse. Can't pick it up. Let's eat one of the broccolis. I did bring some medical supplies just in case. I noticed that I wasn't doing that whenever I ventured out. Pretty stupid move, but I'm going to try and make a habit of it. Another weapon part. Nothing much else, though. This is asking for a lever to be placed in there, but the only lever that we've come across so far is the one at the very entrance to this mine. I wonder if I've got to take it out and then bring it down to this point. That would make sense if I had to do that. What's this room? Oh, this is an elevator system. Holy shit, that goes right to the... I don't want to fall down there in case I get stuck. Look how high that goes. Call it. It's not working. Oh, look. The... Some crafting materials must be learned from survivor NPCs. You'll find... Oh, okay. So they might help us repair this. Change fuse. Need another one? Okay, we need two fuses. And then repair that with some copper wire and some duct tape. Oh, there's the lever. There we go. That always reminds me of Jurassic Park. When Ellie turns the lights on. And it doesn't end well, so double, triple checking everywhere, you know? So, we've already placed that fuse in there. I do need to find another one, and then we can activate that. Then I'm assuming that's going to give me power to the elevator, which it must be at the top because there's nothing here. Maybe we have to call it down. All right, let's close this box up. All right, we've got to head back. I mean, this is actually a really cool find, though. We've got the power on. The only thing that worries me now is, with the power being on, has that just opened something up on the way back? You know, I didn't see any doors. I didn't see, like, any tight seal doors or any vaults or anything that turning the power on could have affected but you just never know wait I think it's gone okay that's terrifying does that mean he can be anywhere in the mine? I thought he was restricted to, like, this chamber or something. It's not hanging from the ceiling or anything. Oh, wait, here we go. This is the elevator then. So we can open it. Can we actually go down in it, though? No, we need to power it up. Okay, so that's what the fuse must be. Come through this section, use the elevator, and go straight down into that bottom bit. Shit. Looks like a couple of infected followed me down. There's actually saltpeter there as well on the left. Let's see if I can use my torch real quick. Yep. I did miss that on the way down. Just trying to think which way we gotta go. We gotta go up the ramp. Oh shit, okay, we don't get a choice. Let's go, let's go, just go. Just gotta keep going up. Hopefully we can outrun them. Oh my Oh my god, they're everywhere. Just go, just go. Get to the daylight. that you need to fix the old wires i can show you how to craft copper wire should be useful to you just bring me two copper ingot two metal scraps and two component boxes 
Okay, nice. So Scott's going to be able to help us craft what we need in order to fix the line for the elevator down in that mine system. But before we even think about heading back down there, we absolutely need to make sure we take precautions. Ammunition, health, everything in between. Look at that. The mist has just rolled in. So with that being said, I'm going to lock the door. And today's not actually been that bad of a day. I mean, a few close calls, a couple of scrapes, but we got a new friend in Scott and... We managed to check out the mine. I have no idea what that thing was down there. There's absolutely no way we can stand up to it unless we get something with a little bit more kick. And that's what I'm going to be working on with the ammunition and hopefully the explosives that we can craft. But for now, guys, I think we are going to end. Just look at that mist. It just consumes everything. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>